<sighs> I'm so tired. I didn't even do anything. I woke up and was like, yep, still sleepy. And then I went back to bed and now it's five o'clock. Mm, let me see if anything is open for food. That's good. God, I can't believe I can't get Eki Ben deliver anymore. What a bummer. I love that place. Oh, I just did. Oh, AI jukebox. This restaurant's not taking online orders, you bastards! Ah! I mean, I could order pickup, but that would involve effort. So let's not. Let's go order stir fry, I guess, which is hopefully good. Mm. Avocado, cashews, bread, wheat noodles, chicken, coconut sauce, sesame seeds, bell pepper, mushrooms, broccoli, sauce on the side, no pineapples. Okay. Nailed it. Is my Patsy U place still open? Uh, probably. I haven't ordered Thai here in a while. I mostly just order from Honey Grow all the time because it's what I would imagine to be relatively healthy. It's like my sole meal of the day. Hope they don't forget the sauce again. <sighs> Check out. Made that order. Maybe I'll get food at some point. Mm, yeah, I could have ordered. No, I shouldn't order Thai. Excuse me. God, it's five o'clock and all I did was sleep. I don't know how I'm still so tired. Uh, I'll pop a caffeine pill. What is this, 200 milligrams? Yeah. Yes, I don't know if that's solving many problems for me. <clears throat> I don't know, 
basically just need to like sit down and work at some point. <laughs> Still, also have to go to the grocery store to pick up coffee, which I've been saying for at least a day. Oh, that doesn't go there. Oh, it doesn't go there. Uh, no. Uh... Oh, okay, that's fine. Oh, no! Just order some monotone tea. Oh, god, no. I know I still have the tin from one of the orders. None of the tea, though. what happens when you drink? I don't know if you're supposed to be this tired the next day. Maybe it woke up all my GABA receptors, and they're like, ah yes, that got the clog out of them, now we'll make you tired. How much did I drink? Well, I was streaming it last night. Two-thirds of a bottle of Merlot, which I found in the closet. <laughs> felt like a lot, but it didn't stop me from completing Streets of Rage 3. Good ending. No, it's just because I'm bored. <laughs> oh god, I don't have anything to do. I mean, I have work to do, but like... Oh, coronavirus. I just want to like, go out and do something, or just get a coffee and stare out the window blankly, or literally anything other than staying indoors the whole time. No, I didn't throw up. I wasn't hungover or anything. I just was very tired. That was about it. Yeah. Thanks, Liver. You're putting in an admirable job. Considering all the other stuff I throw at you. I mean, maybe, but also I am just generally tired all the time, so it's hard to tell. There's no feeling worse than waking up and still being drunk. Yeah, see, that's never happened to me. I really don't drink, so... Oh, uh, just last night. It's like, well, that's a thing. do that's novel and entertaining for a few minutes. <sighs> I don't think I want to be utterly wankered. <clears throat> At least not by a stranger. Also, no offense, some of the Brit slang just seems, like, very gross in general. It's like, oh, that doesn't seem appealing at all from the name. I don't want that. Oh, I lost. I'm not xenophobic, all I'm saying is that we fought a war against you people so we wouldn't have to call things being wankered. 
That's what freedom's about. That was the real reason for the war, and then they burned down the White House. With the help of Howard Dean, who could forget his heroic charge. And then we go back to Washington, D.C. and burn down the White House! Arrgh! Is that a reference that's lost on people? That was like... 12 years ago. <laughs> YTM and D. Oh man, do you remember Hurricane Dean? Oh, I have to find it. That was a good one. I didn't even realize YTM and D left, and then it's like, oops. But now it's back, which is great, because the internet means I never have to give up anything from my childhood, literally, ever. Ah, uh, here it is, I think. We're going to California, and Texas, and New York, and we're going to South Dakota, and Oregon, and Washington, and Michigan! And then we're going to Washington, D.C. to take back the White House! You know, I felt like my Dean screen was actually pretty close to that. I will take at least some accolades for that, if anyone has any to give. Maybe it wasn't, I don't know what I sound like. Except, like, dumb. <laughs> oh god, I found out today that there are 5G coronavirus truthers on Twitch in the form of, like, major streamers, and I can't tell if it's, like, deeply soaked irony, or if it's legitimate. Like, okay, I'm willing to hear you out. How are the phone towers causing pneumonia? From a scientific perspective, that seems fascinating. Like, if I go and get, like, a wireless router and I stick the little antenna up my butt, are the yeah. signals there going to give me rectal cancer? Like, you know, do we, do we have to have a small-scale test first? Uh, how does this work? Who's the control group? Yeah, that would be a weird time to come into the conversation. Though in my defense, I don't know... how many times I have a conversation going that's like, oh yes, this will make perfect sense entirely out of context for when you first join. if it would even work anymore, though, Flame and X. All the routers I've seen now don't even have antennas that stick out, or if they do, they're, like, broad, flat ones. Oh, speaking of sticking things in your body, what's my temperature today? Um... Seven one. Also, my food is en route. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the container for the um, thermometer is clear. And I was trying to put it in and was wondering why it didn't go in because it looked like it was in. I, I missed the container and just was like holding the two on top of each other and was wondering why I can't get them in. <laughs> no, God, I can't even thread the needle to get this thing back in the container. There you go. Nailed it. Wash the thermometer after putting it in my mouth. I don't know if I have to protect myself from my own germs. Uh, I'm generally just going to grow my own germs in my own apartment into superbugs that I am immune to, but anybody else who enters will be destroyed. Am I still drunk? No, I'm just really, really tired. Like, I didn't wake up hungover or anything. I just woke up and was like... Huh. I'll just go back to sleep. No, I have my glasses on too. I really have no excuse. Don't lick your own ass. Honestly, I think if you're skilled enough to be capable of that, they should let you. And you should be lauded for it. Like a cat. I wonder if the other third of the bottle is still drinkable. Probably, sort of. I feel like I'm just gonna throw it out. Drinking always just feels like a hassle because there's that little bit, like that little window you have to get where it's fun and you're not like feeling running, and then you just have to sort of maintain that with drinking more, and then cutting it with water, and it's like, no, this is really not worth the payoff. Which I guess is probably good. Anything, it's just gonna mean I'm never actually going to end up developing a drinking problem. Now a sleeping problem, let me tell you. Getting addicted to having a weighted blanket. Oh god, I never go out and drink. It's like, oh great, I can just sit around and be awkward and uncomfortable and drunk. Yeah. You started reading Goodnight Poon Poon. Oh man. Yeah, like FYI, if you're not in a good headspace, it is going to hurt. And even if you are, it is still going to hurt. And I don't say that lightly because it's like, oh, you know, it's manga that they sell at Barnes & Noble, how bad could it be? But like, it uh, can be incredibly crushing, depending on how much you relate to it. I don't know how far you got, but uh... Yeah. Although I have to say, Poon Poon's doofy little legs, where you just sort of see the little stick figure legs kick back and forth really quickly, are adorable. We're in volume 5. Oh, yep, yeah, that'll do it. Just you wait. Oh man. See, Poon Poon resonated with me in a few ways, some of which were very, very pathetic. Um, 
But I guess if you have a dumb brain that gets hung up on unrequited love forever, uh, it's like, yep, that ain't great. His mom's arms were actually his breast. Oh, yeah! <laughs> you know, the big, uh, floppy bird titties. That's what Kuma Kuma's about. pants on, so that's part of the process. Oh man, but the end of Poon Poon. Like, some people found it vaguely hopeful, but there, there's a specific part of the ending that I sort of want to talk about, but I don't know how much of a spoiler it is. I feel like not much, but like, I don't know. Yeah, the whole bit... Like, I guess some people saw this as, oh, well, he's happy and reconnecting with his friends, but I saw it as, like, after all the stuff he went through, and all the times he wanted to be appreciated and accepted, nobody from his class could even remember him, and that is, to me, very tragic. But that was only my interpretation, so who could tell? Like, great, you get wrapped up in your whole internal world, and you do all this stuff to try to figure it all out, and at the end of the day, literally nobody else cares. Uh, DoorDash driver is approaching with my food. If that counts as a spoiler, I'm very sorry. Um, I haven't read it in a little bit, so... It's also based on, like, what may or may not have been in the plot, slash what I might have just extrapolated after not reading it for a bit, but... Oh boy, oh boy, when you are sad, that thing resonates like nothing else. And now I'm going to go downstairs and get my food. Bye!